Hello, welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. This is Tom. We've been getting a lot of calls in the past couple of years lately with everything that's going on in the school districts and you know all this riffraff that's going on out, out there about you know different ways that people can help protect or help enunciate school districts with uh, doors, you know, and have uh, sirens and strobes go off. We've gotten calls uh, for you know high schools, preschools, daycare centers, everything. So I thought I'd do a video tech tip on it. So today I'm going to be working on 3200, 19600, well, sorry. And I had did a little bit of setting up before I did this, just you know cut down on time and whatnot. But basically what we have here is we have a fairly small to large school district or you know building and they have a bunch of zones in there 48 zones and they have switches on all the doors okay and I actually got a call on this so you know I figured let me do a video tech tip on it so what they wanted to do is they wanted to hook up a strobe on each individual door so they would mount the strobe over the door and that if the door was opened, it would set off that strobe. I uh, had a, some other calls about people doing sirens and you know some kind of enunciator, so you know you can let, you can do whatever you want with it. So here we have all our zones set up, and what they were doing is they were going in and using external relay controls. So they were going. Okay, and we would have to set up the relays. So in this particular case, it would be six relay boards, and there would be one relay for each individual door. Okay, so let's take for example and go through a few of these. We have a door 100. Okay, it's assigned to area uh, to relay number one and area one. It has no timeout. Okay, and it's minutes and seconds really doesn't matter when it has no timeout. And in here, what you would have to do is click on the zone, or click on the condition, and then this one is zone 3, so I'd select zone 3, okay, and it's a Berg zone, and I would just have follow and open, and just select that. And then I would do the same thing for your door 2, which is zone 4, so you go down to zone 4, okay, you do your Berg, follow and open okay and then you would just continue that on and just do follow and open now in this particular case they wanted it so if the door was open it would continually go off until the door was closed now if you wanted to you can go in there and you can put a timeout so let's say you wanted a five minute timeout so you just put five minutes so the idea here is if you have no timeout, it's going to go off continually until the door goes off. If you do have a timeout, it's going to go off until that time is up. Okay? And then what you also can do too to cut down on relays is I only went down to relay 30, but if I wanted to bunch up a door, bunch of doors. So let's say I want a door One thirty, and I'm going to do that relay thirty one, and then going one thirty one. Since that's close to relay or to door 130, I'm going to make it on the same relay, so I can just assign it the same relay. And then I would just have to go in, I'd have to choose whatever door it was on it is. So door 131 is going to be zone 34. And then same thing, follow and open. Go down here, door 34. Follow and open. Okay, and then we can leave, we have to sign into an area. 
and that's what's called mapping. So you'd map multiple doors to one relay. So these spots are only relay is the actual relay itself. These spots over here is just a line number. So this doesn't say that this has to be relay 22. It could be any one of the relays, just like here. This is spot number 32, but relay number 31. And then in your relay board itself, Okay, you would just hook up your one side of your device, whatever it's going to be, strobe light or a siren or whatever. You would hook up, usually it's the negative, will go to here, and the other side of the negative going out to the unit will go to normally open. Now, just bear in mind, if you have a bunch of doors like this, and you're going to do some kind of heavy power, you're probably going to need an auxiliary power supply. So you can run your auxiliary power supply back here. So if you have a few doors, it probably won't be a big deal. But if you have many doors like this particular situation, you're definitely going to need an auxiliary power supply. All right, that should it. So thanks for visiting NAPCOS Video Tech Tips, and have a good day. Thanks.